So my first review for 2017 and how should we start? With hopefully a belter. This is the XKX300 as you can clearly see. Um, smart looking quad, I do like the XK stuff and um, I've got two or three of them now so <laughs> they, they are nice, I do like them. Uh, this one I hope won't disappoint. So obviously quick run around the box, uh, comes really well packaged, the usual sort of carry handle, no damage at all. The first thing I grabbed me when I got it, and I haven't actually opened it yet, um, was that this is a new uh, feature of the Fuhrer Axis so <laughs> uh, aircraft. So I'm hoping that it's just translation that's bad and they've just popped in a few extra words and it wasn't uh, checked before it came out of the factory. Uh, but that, I'm not really worried about what it says. What I'm interested in is how it flies and how it performs. As I was saying, uh, generic box it must be because we've got Wi-Fi and we've got uh, 5.8 FPV and we'll see what we've got when we get inside. The thing that's interesting me really is it's got optical positioning so I'm, I'm looking forward to that and high efficient motors it says so this would be rather good. Um, obviously we're going to unpack everything out and the measurements are all on there. Just a quick run around the box for you. Another little bit of graphics. Uh, again, slightly different shape on this uh, quad than any, I think any other ones I've got to be perfectly honest. Uh, and then round to the sort of features and uh, it's got uh, attitude control, the optical uh, flow positioning uh, so that should work indoors as well as outdoors and uh, I'm going to be interested to see how that's going to work because it's been coming for a while and it's been on the higher end quads but to have it on something of this is going to be quite interesting so long as it works obviously and then on the bottom we've got the uh, QR codes uh, for the apps if, if I've got the Wi-Fi one so let's get it open and have a look So there we go, and like I say, I haven't opened it up yet, and uh, as per normal, uh, XK usually produce really nice stuff and um, good boxing and everything. Um, it might sound a bit daft, but if you're buying it as a Prezi, it's really good. Um, and also, if it's for you, you want it right. Um, you know, it's actually got foam in the top bit here, which is really good for protecting it. But I don't think anything's going to move. It's all in polystyrene there. Let's just pop out the top area. Actually, it looks quite a lot of space around it. Wow, that is a smart looking quad. Very nice looking. Um, off white, I would say, just slightly on the cream side. And cracky, wow, there's loads of room in this box. And it looks very much like I've got the 5.8 um, FPV system, so that's really good. And uh, I think uh, this is a new X8 uh, transmitter. Uh, I might be wrong, I certainly haven't got an X8 uh, on my other one, so let's get this out on the bench and have a proper look. Okay, so that's everything unpacked, and as you can see, pretty impressive. There is a complete spare set of props as well that come with it, so um, I've just not bothered putting them out on the bench, to be honest. Uh, first things first, looking at the quad, I picked it out and put it down that way, um, not really looking at it in much detail, and assumed that was the front. Uh, it's actually not. Uh, that's the front. So you've got uh, the front arms are really curved, and then the back ones are sort of straight out, which is really, I don't know, it just looks and feels a different sort of feel to me. Um, but I, I like it. It's sort of growing on me already, to be honest. I like the idea of the uh, tri-props, and it's got brushed motors. I thought they'd be brushless, because um, my other XK is, and... No, I don't know, I just assumed they would be. These are supposed to be powerful and supposed to give you loads of grunt, um, so I'll be interested to see whether they do or not. On to the front end, and um, we've got this modular uh, camera system. You can buy this with just uh, a camera. You can buy it with a Wi-Fi camera and then use your phone or a tablet, or the one I've got is the 5.8 gigahertz FPV system. So uh, it's 140 degrees field of view and it looks a really nice lens on there. It looks um, looks looks good. Shoots in 720p, um, so it should be pretty good quality. With the 5.8 gig uh, FPV like I've got, or with the ordinary one where you've just got a camera, you will record it on the actual camera module itself and you get a four gigabyte card with it and you get a USB adapter so that you can read it on your computer. You simply pop that into the actual uh, module itself and it clicks in like that and then just pop the module back into the actual unit into the bodywork sorry uh, if you've got the one with the wi-fi it will probably record it back onto your phone when i was unpacking i saw this and thought oh i know what's coming a proprietary battery and it is uh, to keep this really slick design they've actually sort of made a camera housing similar to uh, what xk do on their other models and to charge it you just simply plug that one in 
to there the adapter then you can just use a two cell um, battery uh, charger that they provide and then you get a mains adapter from that as well so it's a little bit convoluted uh, to do not a problem um, but uh, I don't think it's the best <laughs> uh, the um, uh, the batteries are fine sorry they work really well and everything I just think this you know plugging in three or four things just the charger battery seems a little excessive to me 2000 milliamp hour and it's a two cell as well so we should get good flight times with this particular quad it's got a barometer built in and it's also got uh, an optical flow sensor here and what that means is basically it doesn't use GPS and it should be able to hold a position really well indoors or outdoors so I look forward to testing that now there's a trade-off in our house if I want to play with my toys and do my reviews uh, I have to do chores as well and so I put the battery on charge um, so that I can now get out and fly after I've done this bench bit and um, so I thought we could have a look at the LEDs and as you can see you've got lovely blue ones at the front are really bright and then green ones at the back but the thing I was impressed with was you actually got a battery condition um, LEDs come up on the body of it I mean so simple I know other manufacturers have done it uh, mate's got a DJI and that's got it on that um, but just so easy for them to do I would have thought uh, yeah, well done XK for that it's really nice so. the only other thing is you do get um, prop guards and they do clip on they're a little bit of a what's it do clip on actually um, I think just because it's brand new sort of actually, thing isn't that difficult once you've got the hang of it um, but when they're on they really are solid so I was trying to go and wanted to show you you got a good bit of clearance there so I mean you could get something come over the top I suppose uh, but they're, they're certainly going to protect there. they've got no give in them whatsoever and they just simply clip off you can see it comes off a lot easier than it goes on but you can see they're sort of wrapped around in a C formation sort of thing uh, which is uh, I mean it's good and once they're on they're, they're on really so uh, onto the FPV system, uh, it's, uh, you get a stick or rubber duck um, uh, antenna with it, I've just screwed on there, it's the normal sort of uh, XK and uh, WL toys sort of uh, screen, um, really good, I, I found them fine, they're, they're actually quite good FPV systems and being 5.8 you get, you get a clear picture virtually all the time uh, and the feed from it is rather good. To charge that up you get a little USB adapter and simply just plug it in the bottom there. It takes about a couple of hours to charge and you'll get about an hour out of the screen. Um, so um, I tend to put it on charge when I'm putting the battery on charge to be honest just to keep it topped up and uh, they work really well. That attaches to the uh, transmitter um, with this, these sort of gubbins here just wraps around the back of the, uh, the top there of the antenna and, and then your, your screen comes out over the top here so it's really rather nice. The uh, transmitter um, is really nice um, typical sort of XK um, feel it's got uh, good grips on the back it does feel slightly light in the hand, um, but it does take six AA batteries. Once we pop those in, I think it will give it that sort of luster feel of uh, being sort of heavy and uh, give you the illusion that it might be better than what it is. The uh, sticks are centered, and uh, when you come back to center, you can really feel you're in, you're in center position. So even if you're down there and you come back to center, you, you, you know you're, you're just going to be going forwards. There's no sort of ambiguity in, in whether you're on, on center or not uh, using them and I found them really good and um, they've got these lovely uh, uh, aluminium tops to them which are really spiky and really grip your thumb so, so there's absolutely no argument there and if you're a pincher there's no problem either they've sort of got knurled edge straight knurled edges to them so I think that's me all done in here because I really want to get out and have a flight so let's go out and do that Hang on a minute, you don't get off that easy on Tigger's RC reviews just because I charged the battery earlier. Uh, doesn't mean I miss out on doing the instruction manual. Uh, you actually get a full instruction manual with the X300 uh, and then you get a couple of leaflets. Now, uh, these don't quite make an awful lot of sense to me. You've got the FPV one. Obviously, I've got the FPV system, so that's good. It runs through everything. Um, I do have a slight bugbear with Chinese and English all in the same places, uh, but it's not too difficult to call out. The text is quite small, as you can see. Uh, but that runs through how the setup of the FPV, which is rather good. Uh, you then get the other leaflet that runs through like uh, your first flight, uh, calibration, headless mode and everything. And again, all in Chinese and English. Uh, the transmitter looks exactly like the one we've got, uh, the X8, so that's rather good. And it runs through all the functions and features of it. 
The uh, reason I'm saying that is when we actually come on to the instruction manual uh, for the X300, uh, it, it, it's obviously a, a generic one. It runs through and it covers all the three different models. It runs through everything you're going to get in your kit, um, depending on what model you've gone for, your warnings and everything, uh, and then uh, obviously what's actually um, an index or a page, they call it catalogue. And then we run through, and it seems to run through a load of the same stuff again that we just saw on the leaflet, but with a transmitter that looks nothing like ours. So um, I don't quite know where this has come from. Um, but uh, And it runs through extra things like uh, the battery levels um, uh, and the optical flow uh, module, um, which I don't think it covers on the other bit. And the other one covers headless mode, and this doesn't cover headless mode. So it's, it's kind of, they've sort of spread it out for some unknown reason. Um, uh, aircraft cal calibration is the same and everything, so I think they're more or less the same, but they've, for some unknown reason you've got extra paperwork. Uh, and then obviously um, any problems and everything, what the solution should be to it sort of thing. Uh, not the best uh, manual I've seen, but certainly not the worst by any means. Mm -hmm.